All right, hey guys, how's it going? This is Mark from VGFX Pro. Today we're gonna to be creating realistic muzzle flashes. All right, so this clip you can download in the description through our website. So firstly, mostly what you wanna do is you're gonna to have to cut out some of the frames. So the kickback with the gun is a little bit more aggressive. Then we're going to be using our muzzle flashes pack. We have 45 assets in there, uh, three different angles, front, side, and angled. We're going to be using angled for this tutorial as it lines up with our shot. All right, we're going to be using angle 10. Then you want to scale it up, move into position. There you go. Then change the blending mode to add. Then you want to add a glow effect. Increase the glow radius to about 180. All right, now you're gonna grab a gun smoke. We're gonna isolate the footage and the smoke so we can see it a little bit clearer. Then you press S and you're gonna um, flip it horizontally. Move into position, scale it up. Um, you can just scale it up quite a bit for close ups. However, there's a lot of details in these packs. Then cut the footage where you think is best. For me, around there, it works. Change the opacity to around 25% so it blends in with the footage more realistically. And now we're going to need to add our bullet shell. In this tutorial, we're going to be using our 9mm one. There's four different angles there's um, front, side, angled. Angled works perfectly for this tutorial. Alright, let's grab that. Um, then I'm gonna isolate it with the footage again. I'm gonna flip it horizontally. And there we go, then scale it down. You wanna roughly line it up where it would be in the gun. There you go, around there. Then you wanna apply a fast blur, depending on how out of focus your shot is, you're gonna have to change your blur radius. Then you want to press P and start animating um, how it would be flying out from the gun. They are quite fast, so for me it's going to take around 4 frames to go out of the frame. Alright, now we're going to have to apply motion blur, which we can just turn on in After Effects. You want to remove the first frame of the bullet shell as that wouldn't be showing. Alright, now we're going to be creating our lighting that is casted on from the muzzle flash on the actor. So you want to duplicate the footage, cut it up to one frame, then you want to isolate it, then you want to mask around individual objects. Um, so obviously the gun is in the front, so we're going to do a separate mask on there, and then the hand, and then the actor in the back. All right, and then you wanna change the blending mode to add. And then you wanna press F and feather all of the masks. Then you can also press M twice, so it brings up more options. And you can also reduce the mask expansion. Then what you can also do is reduce the opacity of individual masks. There it is, this is our Mirror Sigmas of Flesh. I hope you liked this tutorial. You can purchase all these packs via our website, which is Uh Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to see more of these tutorials. Thank you.